Jace Tunnel here. Check it out. We got a fish aggregating device. I'm gonna tell you all about them. This here is the beacon. This here, let's see if I can lift it up so you can see it better. This here is the, the kind of floating device that would have nets and stuff hanging off of it. And sometimes you'll find them like handmade. They'll put them, uh, make them out of, um, you know, uh, uh, wood, uh, bamboo, bamboo all wrapped together. So it kind of looks like a raft somebody would uh, be on. Um, and then they hang nets that, hang, that um, are kind of uh, attached to the bottom. So when those hang down, it acts like a structure out in the ocean. And then the smaller fish kind of aggregate around them. And then, you know, what are the big fish looking for? They're looking for the little fish, right? So then the big fish come around and then the shrimpers keep track of where this is at so that they can go and they can put a big net around this and then scoop up all the fish, big fish, little fish, everything else. Um, so uh, there's a group in Florida that looks for these things. And so I usually when I find them, I'll send them the number that's on here. Although this number, um, a lot of it looks like it's kind of eroded off of here. Uh, but this beacon uh, is, they can track back to where it came from. So some of these actually come from West Africa, if you can believe it. Uh, these things are currently legal to use. There's the groups that are trying to get them to be illegal. Uh, how these things work is that sometimes I can find a magnet that's attached under here and you swipe that magnet across uh, the top of this and it'll turn it on. And so that's how you turn it on and turn it off is with the magnet. So otherwise there's really no way to get in here. There, there are on the other, the bottom side of this, there's a bunch of bolts coming out here um, with nuts. And so I guess you could actually take all of these off. I mean, there's probably like 30 or 40 of them. Uh, you could take all those off to be able to get down there inside of it. Now, usually I just leave these things out here on the beach uh, because uh, currently my mode of doing these beach surveys is on a bicycle. And you can imagine something this big is hard to get uh, around out here. But, you know, if there's vehicles around here, hopefully somebody will pick them up. I find probably three or four of these a year that wash up. So it's, it's, you know, not uncommon. Uh, I've seen people on like North Padre Island that are kind of camping on the beach. They'll have them set up right next to their uh, RV. So I know that they're coming in, you know, all, all up and down, probably the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, but I thought y'all would be interested in this. This is called a fish aggregating device. Uh, for short, it's called a FAD, F-A-D. Uh, so if you want to look it up, there's, there's uh, quite a bit of information uh, online about these as well and the efforts to try to prevent them from being used. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Beachcoming. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.